Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And in this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up conditional email address routing in the Divi contact form module. Now to do this, there's only one way possible, and that is using our Divi contact form helper plugin. That's required, and it's just one of those things. It's no way to do this um, without using the plugin. And so, yeah, normally we like to do tutorials that don't require extra plugins, but in this one, there's just no other way to do it. If you want the solution, it's the only way. So let's go ahead and get into it. It's really exciting, and I know a lot of you are going to enjoy this. The feature in the plugin is pretty much how it sounds. It's a conditional email address, and it routes it to a specific email address based on an option that the user has selected in the form. So you would have a select drop-down field, radio buttons, or check boxes. So those kinds of fields, depending on how the user interacts, and they may not even know they're doing it. You know, this may this is all in the back end, um, or it may be obvious. You may say sales as a radio button or support, so they know they're clicking on that particular department, and that's fine. Or it can be kind of more subtle. You know, they're answering a question in a specific way and that's sending it to one person or the other in your organization. All right, so let's get started here. This is great, obviously, for that kind of use case. The first step is simply installing the plugin, and again, like I said, it's just required. There's no other way to do this, and we're excited to provide this as the only solution in Divi. And basically, if you're not familiar, the plugin adds lots and lots of settings to the existing contact form module. So it's not a new module, we're just adding on to the existing one. And I think at the time of this recording we have like 68 custom settings. Yes, you heard that correctly, go check it out. Um, so get that installed like normal and then set up your form field. So I'm going to be showing you in a demo here how to you know set up the fields properly and then get the, the form ID. So it's really you know, not complicated. It, it sounds like, oh, we're creating, you know, this logic, but it's really not that complicated. So let's just go ahead and look at our fields. In this form, I set up a, a new field, and then inside here, I selected as the field option, radio buttons, right? So I would have had to choose um, one of those. So I chose radio buttons, and then I just wrote option A and option B, really simple and creative, right? Um, and then, you know, that's it. That's it. I want whether that when the user selects option A, I want to send it to this address. And when they select B, I want to send it to that address, you know? It's really that simple. But the field ID, every field in Divi in the form has this field ID. So right there, it just says field four because it happens to be the fourth. Now I could go in here and give it some name. Well, the label is one thing, but the ID is the most important thing. Um, so kind of decide on one and then don't change it later because it's going to mess up the logic if you change it later. But um, whatever this field ID is what we're using in the logic. And then whatever these field options, oops, can't select there, are what we're using. So if, you know, field underscore four equals option A, then send it to this address. I hope that makes sense. Oh, first of all, yeah, enable the setting. Step number three, enable the setting. So when you have our plugin installed, it adds all these new settings. One of those new settings is right here. Use conditional email address routing, and you'll turn that on. It's inside this admin email area. I already put this in here. So if you can see it, it says field underscore four, and then option A, and then option A will be sales at domain.com. <laughs> Option B will be support at domain.com. And I'm done. There's my logic. Very simple. All right. And I have that written all over here uh, about writing the email routing logic. And again, that's don't be afraid of writing logic. It's not that complicated. Look here. Look how simple this is. Field ID. This is the pattern. Field ID. The option value like in the radio buttons or check boxes. It's just that name, the name of those options. Really that simple. And then email address. And of course, you've got to have more than one. So um, 
option value again email address and you could keep going by adding this um, right here copy that and keep adding more pretty simple you know the, the pattern is simple field ID value email address okay so let's look at an even more complicated one um, you can actually stack these and separate you know this kind of logic um, with with um, commas and so you could have all of these departments and emails within your organization and you could actually have one form and the thing will send to the specific email address based on your logic so it's, it gets kind of crazy if you want it to um, so let's take a look you it would just have the same pattern um, I have this example and you can look at it here and then also look at it in the video this form here and I just set this up with you know dummy content but here I made a field and called it departments so my field ID is departments and then my field is a ch is checkboxes so I have market research and product development so let's take a look at that one so I have departments market research and then market research at domain.com so there's one and then the other one is product development and then colon product development at domain.com so that's one so the next one is sales and then I have an option of onboarding and promotion and then general here let me show you that sales and then I'm using radio buttons onboarding promotion general again we're just writing those those values of the options and then we're selecting our own whatever we want to write for the email address and here's another one distribution and then I have packaging and shipping and that one I made just to show you I made as a select drop down packaging shipping so if you think about this now if I select this one and maybe I select this one and I want to select shipping it's going to actually send it to all three of those because those options now are selected when I submit this form I have that logic set up for the routing it's going to send it to the market research at and the promotions at and shipping at and all that right because it just happened to be there now most of the time like I was saying your form may not be this like obvious right you may have like um, questions you know like I don't know I don't know what it is like certain questions that you ask and then other options appear like taking advantage of the Divi conditional logic and then maybe if this other question appears well then then I need this other person to get the form <laughs> you know what I'm saying um, so it's it's interesting and very yeah very um, powerful what this can do so anyway I'm gonna stop talking read this you know hopefully the the demos the examples made sense I hope you enjoy using it again it's it's one of the many, many features in that plugin. Um, you got, you, I'm not even gonna list them all. You have so many features, go check it out. But this one specifically is something that we've had um, a fair amount of feature requests for. And you know, it's, it's interesting. It's a really cool way. Otherwise you've gotta have what? Like a whole bunch of different forms and tabs or something. And you know, this way you can use one form, conditional logic, send it to who you want to in your organization. All right. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. See you all in the next video.